And welcome to beautiful Ensenada. We are at Botes Juanitos and City right next to me is the super famous Paulina. <laughs> Paulina. Hey. How are you? Hey, Felipe. Good. You? It's good to see you. Yeah, I miss you. It's been I a while. I miss you too. It's been a while. And uh, of course, seeing your mom and your yeah, aunt. And everyone Folka, here. Everybody here, we feel like family yeah, now. We are family. I know. <laughs> the good stuff. Hey, it's a beautiful day here in Ensenada and we've got so much to talk about with you all. And tomorrow night we're going to be back for Tackle Shop Confessions. Sam De La Torre will be live in Carson and Paulina and I will be here in Ensenada. And it should be fun because, what, are we going to do like a little party tomorrow night? A little night? party, yes. Who's we're going gonna to provide the fish? You, because you're going fishing. That's why and you you have faith that I will catch fish? Yes, you are Philip Fritman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rub it in. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. So what are we doing tomorrow here? Yeah, we are cooking uh, from the fish that Philip is bringing from the big white ocean. Uh, we are making some sashimi, some ceviche. Also, I will cook some surprises for you. Maybe some uh, taco fish or sashimi. Or Let's see what... But yeah, I can improve tomorrow. So you're gonna uh, do a lot of the cooking or yeah, whatever. My mom, my aunt, me, oh my you, God. Foca. Oh, I will cook. I everyone. love to cook. Yes. It was good to see Foca, by the way. We've already seen him. Is is he around still, yeah. or we'll get him to poke his uh, head he, in he's here? He's a rock star, so he yeah. comes, um, he goes, and he'll be back. Oh, I love the guy. He's so good, and he told me the whole story about how he got the nickname Sea Lion yeah. and everything. <laughs> All right, before we go any further. <laughs> yes. Somebody is a year older. Two people are, but mine was a little while ago. Your birthday was just yes. recently. Yeah, a week April, ago. The April the 5th. 5th. Don't yes. uh, cut me off before I, I prove that I know your birthday. Okay. Because you're four days before. Your son. Yes, Philip Jr. Yes. And so uh, that's great stuff. And yes. we brought down some gifts from some of our sponsors, but... It comes with a lot of love for you because you've been doing really, really great. And all the love doesn't fit here. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. And if anybody's going to put this stuff to good use, it's going to be you. Yeah, of course. Because you love fishing and it blows me away yeah, how much I you do. I love fishing. I'm going fishing every day, like five days uh, surf fishing, rock fishing, and two days outside offshore. So yeah. All right. There's Foca, by the way, right yes. there. Um, Daniel Lightfoot says, good afternoon, Phil and Paulina and Sam. He's a little mixed up. He thinks uh, we're doing Tackle Shop Confessions tonight. Daniel Lightfoot yep. is a little boy, his grandfather, Michael Limon. Oh, and yeah. I know you know something about Michael Limon. You yes. want to look at him and say yes. something? Hi, Michael Limon. If you are looking at this show, uh, I hope you can come fishing in Ensenada. I can go with you and Philip and your dad or all the people here and have some fun. He would love to come down here and fish with you. Yeah. Can we do that? Of course. Maybe do the whole, uh, we do surf fishing. And of course, you go fishing all the time with Foca. Yes. If anybody out there wants to go fishing with him, how, how can they call you and book with yeah, you with, or yeah, what? Yeah, with me, sure. How does that work? Uh, Foca is my captain since I was a child, and I go fishing with him to tournaments, local fishing, offshore fishing, tuna fishing, everything regarding fishing and boats. And he's a very safe person, secure. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, and the not boat, like me, right? Yeah, not like Phil. I don't know why I'm here sitting next to him. <laughs> kind of scared, but okay. <laughs> Yes, I was saying, yeah, you can send me a message through my Facebook. Uh, if you don't know my Facebook name, it's Paulina Fishing Life. You can go there and send me a message. Uh, the fishing trip is here local. Uh, we can find surf surfish like yellowtail, bonita, and barracudas, and bottom fish, uh, rock cod, link cod, whitefish, uh, sand bass, calico bass, and those types of fish. And yeah. The trip is around six, seven hours, so send me a message and I can give you the prices and more details. Okay, and we'll be talking a lot more about that on the morning briefing and tomorrow's show here. Uh, we'll put up all that information so you have it in text, but for the time being, send Paulina a message on Facebook, Paulina Fishing Life. Life yes. And, man, I'm telling you right now, I haven't fished with Foki yet, although we have to make that happen yeah, here pretty soon. we need to. But I can tell, he's such a nice guy and such a good fisherman. In this beautiful, festive 
atmosphere in Ensenada. It's so nice with that big Mexican yes. flag flying over Plaza Bandera. And the people walking around, they're shooting a Netflix Yeah, they're showing a here. Netflix TV show. I don't know the name, but yeah, they are filming here since last week. Oh, you know, I know what the name is. I, I talked to somebody. It's the Phil Friedman uh, story. Really? Yeah, it's all about me. It's wow. going to last about three seconds. Okay, and then it. bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good stuff. You want me to read a couple comments here? Sure. And then we'll get back to doing whatever it is we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. I'm drinking coffee. Okay. Jason Allen is up in Alaska, and he says, good evening, Phil. Waiting for your podcast. Lucky you get to go to Ensenada fishing with the pretty Paulina. Have a good night. Have a good yeah. night, you two. <laughs> Why didn't he mention that I was pretty? Because you're not pretty. Oh, oh thanks. Well, yeah, I'm not, actually. Everyone though, knows right. that, Philippe. <laughs> Stop bragging around. <laughs> All right, back to uh, this. Uh, let's see. Um, Ackman says, uh, hi, Phil. Don't forget Paulina here. Ack um, Daniel Lightfoot, hit the like button, everybody. Scott Buchert wants to know how to catch a bluefin tuna. How to catch a... Would you like to talk about that? Maybe the Mad Mac trolling yeah. or whatever you want to... Scott is... Uh, Scott's a guy, I told you, he likes to send messages to my wife all the time and oh. say, hey, how are you? And everything else. So, hmm. yes. Go ahead. What do you <laughs> no, want to yeah. say to him about catching a bluefin? Yeah, I mean, we here in Ensenada are very excited about bluefin tuna because it comes from Japan all the way here because of the weather, the cold water. Uh, they come like mm, from May, no, from March to May or to June. That's like the season. And we troll, I mean, we go trolling outside uh, with Mad Max, the big ones, 240, I think is the size. And the line we use is 100, 100, yeah, 100. And the leader is 150, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we troll like 14 miles, uh, the speed, and yeah. Very good. Do you ever fish like, these type of uh, lures, um, like these big, you know, knife jigs. Yeah, we use. These yeah. are actually like yeah, slow pitch. Yes. You do that too, right? Yes. These are taddy lures. Somebody told me once that for her birthday she'd like a taddy lure. Yeah. And of course, having really strong hooks. We like these trocar hooks. They work really, really good. good. That's nice size. Yeah, you got some of those too. Yeah, so. I, I like the the sharp, like the eagle. They're so sharp, yes. right? Yes. All right. Scott Buchert is back again, and now guess what he says? He's making a comparison between you and I. The hair. No, uh, uh, maybe, maybe. Okay. Let's see, get closer to me. Yeah, I think it is the hair, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, he's talking about who's better on the show, and he says, Paulina, much better than Phil Friedman. Ooh. Well, I have all kinds of fans out there just turning on me. Yeah, yes. I have more experience than you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Allen, hey, Phil, and Paulie, and I have a question. Do you remember a tackle shop in Ensenada called Boogie's Tackle Shop? If so, whatever happened to it? I mean, I, I know. Boogie's Tackle. Yeah, I've my, never heard of maybe it. Maybe my mom knows about it. Cause Pregunta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch to Spanish. Ma. <laughs> Antes había una tienda Boogie Store de pesca. Sí, hace muchos años. ¿Dónde? Aquí, en el centro. El uh -huh. Ah, bueno, y sí. Ya no ¿Y existe? qué pasó? Lo cerraron hace mucho tiempo. Ah, bueno. Okay. ¿Hace cuántos diez años? Diez años. Mm, maybe diez años. Ah, okay. Yeah. Muy bien. Introduce your mother to everybody. Oh, yeah. Here's my mom. She's part of the team from Juanito's fishing team. And yeah, she just told us that the fishing tackle, the tackle store, uh, is closed uh, like ten years ago. All right, gracias. gracias I, I was dead. Gracias. Your mom has been so nice to us here. Yeah, she's a lovely person. And your aunt and everybody else. Here. I'm still trying to remember how he asked me how I met you. And I said I met you through your mom. Yes. But I'm trying to remember how I met your mom. Was I just walking around here? Yeah, she said I think that. You, so, right? Yeah. You were walking around here like a creepy man and then <laughs> no joking. Yeah. Like at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, maybe. They were getting ready to go fishing, yeah. and they're like, who is that weirdo? <laughs> no, yeah, you were walking here, like, in the morning, uh, and you came in and asked, like, information about the trips or the fishing trips, whatever. And, yeah, you start asking questions, as you do every time. <laughs> well, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you start talking to her and then she that's right right she yeah. showed you some pictures of her fishing yes. or something and then she told you like ah, oh, maybe you should meet my daughter yes. next time i will let her know and once you were filming here something with i said let's go let's do something yeah. because i could tell immediately how good you were yeah 
I yeah. Know. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, no, hum no humility at all from you. What's yeah, wrong with you? Yeah, humble is my second name. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I kind of, now I do remember. In fact, I met the kid, anybody under 40 is a kid to me, that runs the little horse. Yeah. What's his name? Do you uh, know? Um, uh, no, something with A. Um, se llama el? ¿Cómo se llama el caballito? Michael. No. Um, Giovanni. Johnny? Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni. Exactly. Giovanni, right. yeah. See. All right, and then, and then I came by here, and yeah, you. that's how it all happened. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, Foca, come yeah. here. We want, you got to yeah. introduce Foca. He is the top performer of the team. He is our captain, Foca. His real name is Jose Juan. Can we see Foca? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, his real name is Jose Juan, but he forgot that name years ago. So now he responds by Foca, and yeah. <laughs> He's our captain, the one who takes us fishing outside, offshore, everything. Yeah. I've told the story, Folk as a sea lion, yeah. but why don't you tell it in case somebody <laughs> knew? Why is this guy called Foca? And he loves it. Look, he's got Hello, Foca Fam. right yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you know Sabe? Yes, I see the buzo, caperuso. <laughs> yeah, so the name Foca, sea lion. Yeah, right, yes. It comes because once he was diving, swimming here in the ocean, and a guy was walking around and he said, a look, dog. yeah, look, a sea lion. But it was Foca diving, swimming here. So yeah, that's, a, Foca. that's how you get Gracias. real cool uh, nicknames here. Vamos a pescar muy pronto. Urel. Yes, yellowtail. All right, let's do it. All right, good stuff. Um, oh, let's see. We've got Michael Limon now. He's here. This is Michael. Yes. I can't wait to get down there and fish with you, Paulina. Sure. Please come. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You think about it. It will be very nice. Very yeah. great. He's a great kid. He hangs out with us all the time. So. Good. Michael, it's good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Can't wait to get you down here to beautiful Ensenada, and we can go surf fishing or go with Foca or whatever. Yeah, whatever. We should, you come. You come to Mexico. That's the idea. <laughs> all right, perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, waiting for the fishing report from the Independence. I don't have that yet. I haven't heard anything in terms of any hits on the bluefin tuna. So bluefin have been missing. And you know, on our five day trip, we didn't catch any bluefin. There's been one caught in like two weeks by the San Diego fleet on the new low end. Are you getting nervous about this? Are yeah, you worried, been, are you? Yeah, I mean, we haven't heard anything since a month here. Like with they're just arrived, but small ones, uh, like maybe 30 pounds, I don't know, small ones, and people caught here like five, six, and that's all what we know about tuna. We heard they were south, like near to Colonet, but that's the latest news we have. Yeah. Hopefully they'll just pop up. I talked to some guys, Roy Rose runs the Royal Polaris, mm -hmm. huge sport boat out of San Diego. He said, ah, don't worry. They, they're, they're just doing what they do. They feed really deep. They get out of the picture, they'll be back. So he thinks they're going to be back. For yeah, sure. me too. I mean, the weather is changing a lot. Some days it's sunny, some days raining, some days windy. So, I mean, the water temperature is changing every day. So, hopefully, we can get some good reports. Paulina, what's your favorite kind of fish to catch? Or do you just like fishing? No, no, no. I like, yeah. My favorite uh, is yellowtail. It is? Yeah, I like the way they fight. I mean, they run down, they run everywhere. And yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, it is. Do you like catching them on bait or fishing fierro, iron? Mm. Or or the same for you? No, to be honest, I like with bait. Because uh -huh. uh, sometimes I can go to the bottom and the yellow tails at the bottom are huge. More than the ones in surface. But I mean, if we are talking about surface, yeah, iron. All right, we are in beautiful Ensenada live here in Baja, California, Mexico on an absolutely beautiful afternoon. It couldn't be any more lovely. At Botes Juanitos, yes. which Paulina's mother and her aunt and her uncle all are in charge of, and they do such a great job. And down here with us tonight is a new guy, Mackie, right here, yes. right? Marcus. Marcus. And honestly, I, I looked at him a while ago, and I go, I could tell. And I go, what do you think? He goes, I'm loving this. Good. I'm loving this. So he just, right? Feels right at home, loving the whole experience. It's beautiful down here tonight. Yeah, I mean, and Mexico is beautiful. I mean, music always, sun, not always, but sunny days, of course. But yeah, you can feel the friendly people going around here in the Malecon, families, kids playing around, so yeah. 
Yeah, and maybe toward the end of the show, if we can, we'll walk out and give you all a look at the Malecon because right as Paulina was saying that, I see kids going by and it's just so festive. There's all kinds of stuff to do. It's really, really great. Let me go back to a couple questions and let's see, we've got um, live free and die free. Hello, Phil and Paulina, Evening Hello. Friedman Adventures family. Uh, we also have Tyler Taka Tanaka Turbo T2. Hola y buenas noches, Capitan Phil y Paulina. What hotel do you recommend staying at in Ensenada? Is the Yellowtail Bite still in fuego? Is it still on fire in the bay there? So do you have a favorite hotel or do you want me to recommend or go ahead? I mean, you can recommend. I mean, I will recommend something center. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something here in the center of the city. There is a... Uh, City Express, uh, there's also Hotel Cortez and Casa del Sol, which is near First Street and it's very near here to the coast. Uh, yeah, I will say those ones. I don't know, Philip, he's the one who comes more. No, I mean, uh, you know better than me. We've been staying at the San Nicolás and we enjoy that place. It's nice. It's got a casino so you can yeah. lose your money, you yeah. know, when you uh, have some down. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But, they, and, they have a swimming pool. They have good yeah. food. The hamburger. Oh yeah, did you have that? No, but I'm still dreaming of it. Well, yeah, you gotta have that. We'll, we'll do it before you, we leave this yeah, time. Yeah, sure. You came over there and had breakfast with breakfast, us, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. How was that? Good? Good, I like yeah. it. Yeah, and the kid, uh, there's kids and adults, but yeah. they're really, really nice yeah, over there. It's nice. Yeah. Hey, and what we're trying to say is, it's perfectly safe here in Mexico, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I mean, believe me, not because I'm from Mexico, I'm saying lies to you, but it's true. I mean, you can go here, this is a touristic place, you will see people from everywhere. Last week, people from Spain and France were here, uh, who went fishing. You can see families like walking the afternoon here. And yeah, it's pretty safe, to be honest. All right, very good. Uh, Jack Sepulveda says, hi, Phil and Paulina. Phil, don't forget the blanket. You, you know what <laughs> he's saying? Like, oh, yeah, you know. Yes, the I know. The from mi esposa. You haven't bought They don't that. have them anywhere. San Marcos blankets. Donde? Well, I can look it for you, but tell me in advance. <laughs> Olvidaste la cobija, Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> Exactamente. Oh, my God. My wife still... Now she's down to um, something else she wants, and I can get this, yeah. actually. So I'm good. I, I can pull... Something easier. <laughs> well, I can pull that up. Um, let's see. Um, weather looks great down there. Winds dying down in Oceanside. So do you know where Oceanside is? Yep. Yeah. So the wind's laying down there, and it's supposed to be pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the flag, and it's not yeah. blowing like it was earlier. So. Yeah, but day, days before it was. I, I know. I mean, Saturday, Sunday, it was pretty windy. Did you guys get much uh, rain down here? No, only one day. Okay. But not too bad? No, not too bad. All right, perfect. Um, let's see. Uh, Dansky, hi, Phil and Paulini. Any recommendations on where to stay when we go down? For a fishing trip you kind of gave those right yeah yeah and, and would you stay in ensenada or would you like is there anything out there and put the bond or it just gets you too far away yeah, right it's too far away i mean if you want to come i recommend the center of the city you can have restaurants near uh the the malecon which are the, which where is the boats and everything to go fishing you can walk around some bars um craft beer uh, yeah i mean i recommend the center of the city and I have to say that Juanitos, Botes Juanitos, they have some of the best coffee yes. I've ever had. Water cheers. <laughs> exactly. Good stuff. I'll take a swig on that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy who watches our show here in Ensenada all the time, comiendo sus palomitas. He's always eating his popcorn. Do you know who it is? Mm. It's a guy, but he's, he, he operates a panga down here. He's a super great guy and a great fisherman. He's from Ensenada. And his first name starts with the letter A. A. Oh. Arnie Man. Arnie Man yes. is joining us. And Arnie, it is such a pleasure to see you. I would love to see you while I'm down here on this trip and hope you're doing good. He says, greetings, Felipe and Paulina, the best fisherwoman in Ensenada. Your mom's <laughs> going to get upset here. Uh, an honor to have a fisherwoman like her let's go let's go our knee mm -hmm. you're, you're getting uh, pretty popular i'll tell you were you popular before too no i used to cry in the corners but 
<laughs> There's a corner over there if you want yeah, to. Yeah, but no, I'm not. Just make sure you get a close-up if she breaks into tears. That'll be good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, so, Cal, come down to Mexico. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, a fish layer. Norman, let's meet for a coffee. Okay, perfect. Uh, fish layer, so Cal, okay. Any tips on someone who's never been to Mexico and doesn't speak Spanish. Now, we were talking about this. When we came in to the border today, yeah. <laughs> he was filming. And so all of a sudden, you know, a Federale's tapping on, pull in, and, and he's like, hey, you can't film. You know, you got to erase that off your phone. And we're like, but we were talking like, what if you didn't speak Spanish? Would, you know, I guess they speak good enough English, but people just have to understand that maybe there's a little bit of difficulty with the language sometimes, but everybody's really nice and they're to help yes, you out. I mean. As we are like kind of a border city, let's say, because near, we are near to Tijuana, most of the people here uh, knows uh, English and Spanish, both languages, but I mean, I don't think it would be difficult because everyone knows like the basic words like uh, hotel, restaurant, food, water, uh, time, yeah, so. I mean, Loca. Loca, you, yeah, so. I'm local, <laughs> you're local. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's easy, I mean, the basics. <laughs> Would you recommend that people study a little Spanish before they come down? Maybe learn a little bit? Is that a good idea? Maybe. Why not, right? Yeah. It, I mean, it's always easier to know. Just What's the most important word to learn in Spanish? My mother taught it to me when I was a kid. Comida. Gracias. Ah. Yeah, that's what she but said. You will die if you don't eat. No, that's true. Well, if you say gracias enough, somebody will feed you. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff, everybody. Thanks for joining us here from Botes Juanitos. What a festive atmosphere. Look at people walking by. It's so lovely. I'm so happy to be in Mexico. When I hit the border, my son, Philip, my son, Patrick, they all say the same thing. It's like, oh, a weight's <laughs> off my shoulder. Now the fun begins. Of course. The good fishing begins. <laughs> and we'll be up bright and early, uh, Marcus and I, tomorrow, and we're going to go fishing with a friend of mine. I wish you could go. Yeah, Louis Prieto. I'll, we'll, we'll go some other time. Yeah, next time. Yeah, we can go with Foca also. Yeah, I would love that. Yes. And so we're going to go with Louis in the morning, and then we'll go with Foca one of these days really, really soon. Does that mean you're going too? With Foca, yes, because oh. I can plan it in advance. Oh. Yes. That'll be great. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Hey, uh, thanks everybody. We appreciate everybody who is joining us tonight. N6 win, Pauline. Your English is very good. Did you learn that? What school? You know, your English is excellent, if I do say. As an English teacher in China, yeah. your English is really good. <laughs> well, you should I be proud of yourself. I have sometimes uh, travel with some words. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not my native language. But yeah, I learned English since kindergarten here in school, private schools. So since I was like three years old till university, yeah. I learned English there. And yeah. do, you, do you, are you constantly learning new words? I know I am. Yes, I am. I mean, because of my work, I need to learn like business words. And because of fishing, I learn every day more fishing words that I didn't know before. But yeah. Yeah, like swivel. Like you taught swivel. me that today. Yeah. I didn't know that word. Yeah, I don't either. think you knew it in English. In English, no. I didn't know it in Spanish. Sure. And so, yeah, <laughs> that was great. All right, very good. Um, Fish Slayer SoCal says... I go to Mexico all the time. Great fishing there. Yeah, it is. And near. Emmanuel Navedo is coming to us from Florida. And just want to say hello to you from the beautiful state of Florida. Got people all around the world. Greetings. Isaac says, good evening. Looks awesome. Need to go. Never been. So it many people. Come. When are we going to do a thing where yeah. we get a big group down here and we have a fiesta and... Just have we should do that this fall, like yeah. maybe November or yeah, October, November, something like that. Yeah, definitely. Get busy on that, will you? You want? You don't want me to be there? <laughs> no, I want you to be there. Of course, I want people to show up. They're not going to show up for me. They might show up for you, though. Yeah. That's for sure. All right, very good. Um, let's see. Uh, Norman says, uh, "SoCal fishing in Mexico just caught a 50-pound snowy grouper." Out of the Bahia de los Angeles, the Bay of LA. Have you ever fished there? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Tell us about year, it. I participated uh, last year with my mom in a tournament. And I know that 
some fishes are pretty big there, like groupers, like lingcuts. We caught a lingcut uh, 14 pounds. It was big for there. And yeah, big rockets and calico bass and a lot of stuff. But yeah, actually that tournament we won with a yellowtail, I remember. Oh, you tournament. did? Yeah. Who caught it? My mom. Your mom's always doing so good. <laughs> She's over there watching you, every yes. move you make, or maybe watching Actually, me. I caught it, but I saved my mom because she's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. How are the accommodations there in the Bay of L.A.? Nice? Yeah, hotels and stuff? No, hotels, no. There are kind of uh, small Spartan. houses, like wood houses. Yeah, but, I mean, they do the job. Right. Yeah, you right. go sleep there near to the beach. I mean, the town is pretty small, but, yeah, you can go and be secure there. You know, Paulina, one thing I remember as a kid driving down to Loreto when I was 17, my brother was 15, my mom said, yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. And we took up and we went. That first night, we camped on the beach. And we didn't have a tent or anything. We just slept on the rocks <laughs> with our sleeping bags. <laughs> and I remember looking up and I'm thinking to myself, I, have no, I didn't even know there were so many stars. Uh, yeah. Isn't that the coolest thing yeah, you'll ever see? It is, yes. That, that you see like all white up and you were like, wow. And the moon, the light of the moon is like a pretty good light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to let Paulina give you a fish report here in a second, but I'm going to try to catch up on these questions because you've got so many questions coming in and you also have some other things we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, fish Slayer says, nice catch on that 50-pound snowy grouper. David says, those blankets, the San Marcos blankets, <laughs> last forever. Yes. I have one since I was a kid. I'm still a kid, but a younger kid. Did I tell you about I sent that video to my wife? The, I don't think I've told you this story. No, the one I with everyone to, yelling? Or, yeah, uh, I sent her the, and she goes, oh, that's funny. And then I go, okay, good. And so then I posted it. And then like the next day she goes, that video is between you and I, right? <laughs> You're not going to. And I said, oh, see me more, no? <laughs> Thank God she never goes on my YouTube channel. Yeah. She would kill me. You didn't ask permission to your mm. boss. I'm going to say, somebody flipped <laughs> I had that on private. I don't know what happened. Yeah, maybe it was Rick. Yeah, it was, it was your fault. <laughs> All right, uh, Carlos Sanchez says, Ola Phil and Paulina, how far in advance do you have to book a fishing trip in Ensenada? Uh, yeah. One week, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, one week it's okay. So we can see if there's a free space or how's the things going here with reservation, but yeah. If somebody, like, if the yellowtail bite, incredible tomorrow, mm -hmm. and Mackie and I throw on a hundred yellowtail, mm -hmm. and we invite everybody out there to come in here, mm -hmm. can a guy call you up and say, hey, can I go tomorrow or the next day? Yeah, they can. They can inquire, right? Yeah, yeah they can. All right, perfect. Man, there are so many questions coming in here. It's fantastic. Thank you all for joining us. There's a lot of people on here. You don't have to run off anywhere quite yet, do you? No, still, no, you're here. I need to take care of you. Well, you I can know. steal something. Like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I already did. What are you talking about? What do you think we brought the big box for over there? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. We've got uh, um, Fish Slayer, Southern Cow. What's the best fishing charter for some yellowtail in Ensenada? Something tells me you're going to say polka. And he is a great fisherman, so go ahead and say it. Uh, no, I know of a couple of, of people, but Poca is my captain, so I, I will say his name. But there's also Little Horse. Uh, his name is Michael, his brother, and his name is Caballito. Giovanni. Giovanni yeah, Giovanni? I forgot because I call him Caballito, Little Horse. <laughs> yeah, so it's Giovanni, Michael, Foca. Mm, I know some people in Popotla, Carlos Cortez, he's also one. And here in Ensenada, who else? Um, Popotla is just a little bit south of Rosarito. It's a yes. great little place. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot so of people. So I know a few. Uh, Blackfin sport fishing oh, yeah. out there with on Punta Victor, yeah, Victor Blackfin, yes. He's fantastic. They do a great job. Um, mm -hmm. Arnie Man. Arnie Man, of course. Arnie Man. Arnie Man. You already said you're the greatest fisherwoman in the world. You better yeah. include him. Um, and then I've never fished with the guys from Mara's sport Mara's, fishing, yeah. but I hear a lot of yeah. good things. Yeah, I always see their posts because they go fishing every day for charter. And yeah, Mara's. They are also in Punta Banda near to Blackfin. Yeah, and then you've got uh, Sergio Susure right over here. Yeah, but they do more like a ticket well, charter. Oh, like do they? A lot of people and you pay the ticket. Oh, okay. If you want to rent your own boat or panga or whatever, you can go to other places. All right, perfect. I hope that helps, and if not, uh, just you can keep asking away, and we'll uh, give you some more uh, great answers here. All right, 
Arnie is back, and he says now is the best season to fish for the yellowtail. Yeah, it is. They are boiling outside. Boiling. They better be boiling tomorrow when I'm out there. <laughs> I'm actually going to fish for a change. Yeah, you I got a camera to. guy for a guy. Or what is it? My assistant, or what are you? My personal assistant, or my all of the above. All of the yeah. above. <laughs> yes. Right. But All what right. about the job description? <laughs> what do you sign for? <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Uh, Jansek123 says, Tackle Shop Confessions 2.0. He's <laughs> saying you and I are doing another new Tackle Shop Confessions. Does that mean I'm going to have to drive to Ensenada every Monday? You need to. Mm -hmm. Well, who knows? We might have to do that. Yeah. Hey, a question for you, by the way. Mackie said you should come up to LA and fish with us on one of the sport boats someday. Yeah, sure, I can. Can you do that? Sure. All right, we'll give you the schedule after we're done today. Sure. And then uh, maybe you can come up and go on a trip with sure. us. And maybe. also you can talk to Teddy Lure so we can uh, go to the factory. I know he's near LA, right? Yeah, he's right there in Gardena and Joey is a good friend of mine. And they, you can see, you know how good they do. Yeah, so I know. We can do a whole bunch of stuff for yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, sounds good. All right, uh, let's see. Um, Good question from Emmanuel Navedo from Florida. He wants to know how much is a charter in Mexico? So how much does FOCA charge for a local trip, a bluefin tuna trip? Tell us what that is, uh, if you know. I you better know. Yeah, I mean, I know, but I don't know like the updated price, prices of this year. But I know that for local fishing, it depends on the boat. I mean, if you have a big boat, a yacht or a panga, and it depends on the people. But local fishing is between Three fifty, four fifty dollars. Uh, for how many people? Four to five, four to six. Four to six people. Yes. Like four hundred dollars in that yeah. one. Just incredibly affordable. And offshore fishing is more expensive because you need to go all the way around outside, and it's like a thousand dollars. Yeah, eight hundred a thousand depends on the boat, but yeah. Okay, and if those prices are not correct. Paulina will pay whatever the difference yeah, is. Yeah, I will. It's very nice of you. But I'm you have right. no captain there, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Glacier Shark says, very nice. Um, and he says, I like the live stream updates here. Thank you, man. Um, when we decided to come to Ensenada, the first thing we talked about was doing live stuff with you because you are so good. You're really, really good. Thank you. Don't get too big a head no, here no, now, no, okay? I'm, I'm humble, remember. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Glacier Shark. We appreciate you being here. Daniel Lightfoot. Michael Limon is back again. And Michael says, Paulina, what colors are the yo-yo jigs that you're using to catch the yellowtail? So what color is working best for the uh, hurel, the yellow, yellowtail? Yellow, yellow. Good question, Michael. Yellow, the one that it's really, really by bidding, it's a uh, yellow, white, brown. That's one color, and the we call other that scrambled egg. Yes, scrambled yes. egg. Yes, yeah. and the other one is blue with white, and the third one is one that is like a mix of white and green, but kind of guacamole. Yeah, that one. Oh, guacamole! <laughs> Why didn't they name it that? That's a better name. I like yeah, that. Yeah, the one that is like green, scrambled with white. Yeah, those three are really good now. All right, very good. Michael Limon, thank you so much. Paulina, can't wait to fish with you. Keep some more questions coming in. N6 win. We're never going to get off the air tonight, Yeah, man. I know. And we still have more to talk about. But we're going to answer our fans, all of them out there, as we are building up to over 60 people watching right now. It's pretty good. As an American fishing in Mexican waters, can we fish with more than two hooks for rockfish? And can we catch our own bait for our own private boats? And what is the current price of gasoline or diesel in Mexico? You may not know those, uh, like the cost. I don't know, maybe you do. But maybe some. I mean, for the hooks uh, for fishing. I think it's only two, it's right? It's only two. Yeah. Yeah, more than that, it's not uh, allowed. And for catching, their, yeah, own catching bait? their own bait, you can. Right. Yeah, you, you can. You can use a throw net? No. I, oh, you, you can't? can't? No, no, no. Oh, okay. You need to. Uh, or you, yeah, the small ones with sabiki. Yeah, sabikis. Yeah, yeah. Need to take it with sabikis or with whatever you need, hook and another bait or I don't know. And the price of diesel here is like twenty-one uh, pesos a liter. Con el litro de diesel, veintiuno, veintitrés. Por litro? Por gasolina? No, por diesel. Oh, por diesel. 
Uh, yeah, 21 is for gasoline per liter and 23 for diesel per liter. So I think that's going to come out to like five bucks a gallon. I'm not sure, but I think it's five uh, single dollars. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you probably know better than me. All right, good job. Here, I try to cut you off and say you don't know the answer to yeah. this. And boom. Please, Philip. I'm sorry. I grew up here. I know, really, <laughs> really. Very good. All right, great stuff. Rick Slater, is the Fisherman's Bar still there? I can see why Phil comes down to see you. You are so bonita. <laughs> Thank you. And the bar is not here anymore. What, where was that bar? It was uh, near the flag. It uh -huh. was a small bar when people like play Come some music and play. I think it was jazz and you can have beers and yeah, but it's closed. Did now. you ever go there? No, my mom did. <laughs> oh, okay. And was that a good, uh, did she say it was a good place? Yeah, I mean, after work, she, they walk from here to there and they take a couple of beers and they go home, but yeah. Um, N6UN wants to know, does Paulina know of an English version of rules and regulations for Mexican fishing? And how do you get one? I think you can go on their website and you can click yes. English, right? Yes, yes. There's a PDF file. I think it's in both languages. But yeah, I can I can have it for you. Maybe Victor Mendez can yeah. help us with yeah. that, right? Victor, yeah, or Luis, yeah. Maybe those guys, maybe they'll be here tomorrow, yeah. right? Yeah, Victor may be here tomorrow and I will call them tonight. Did you tell them that Phil Freeman is in town? No, and he why? said, Yeah, really, no, said, oh, not I'm not coming over for him. That's not interesting. Tell me it. when somebody important is there. <laughs> yes. Thanks, like Marcus. Paul. Thanks, he's, Paul. He's, yeah, Marcus. He's the, he's the new guy in town. Yeah. <laughs> El viejo Rabo Verde is going to be very upset. Yeah. Look out there and say hi to Greg. Hi, Greg. Miss he, you. I haven't heard from him. I don't. He's disappeared again. You killed him, right? No. Okay. No, 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 no. You. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Hey, Rick. Great question. Uh, let's see. Five forty slinger. This guy was in the United States Navy, so we always thank him for his service. Jeff Yeomans. He says. Good evening, Paulina and Phil. A A Inica, uh, A A Ine Iniquis, right? Iniquis. Man, my Spanish sucks, doesn't it? Uh, love you, Paulina. Hugs, fan of your work, sis. Thank you. Hugs for you too. Do you know who it is? No, but okay. he sent me hugs. Yeah, really. Yes, yeah, so I need to be polite and humble yeah. and send hugs to him. Yeah, when I saw you in, over at the hotel, I went to hug you and you turned or walked away from me. Ran away, actually. Yeah, because you're weird. <laughs> Why do I suffer this abuse from you? I don't understand it. Um, love the way she says sabiki. Let me hear you say that again. Sabiki? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe sabiki. because I say it in Spanish, sabiki. In English, it's sabiki. <laughs> in six wind, how about me? Sabiki. 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 Ah! Oh, there you go. All right, I guess you win on that one. Uh, Carlos Sanchez, do you need a Mexican fishing license? Yes, you need. You can buy it for a day, for a week, or for a year. It's pretty affordable. Yeah, it's like, how much was it? $65 for the year. $65 for the year. year yes. So when you buy a fishing license in the United States, mm -hmm. it's only good for California. Yes. When you buy a fishing license for Mexico, it's good for the entire country. Yes. Which is great. Yes, you can go to south to Bahia de Los Angeles, you can go to San Quintin, to, I mean, everywhere down. I'm telling you. All right. Uh, boy, we're getting more viewers on here. Woo. Must be me. And it's my water. long, flowing hair. Yeah, your hair. Will, look at that. <laughs> I wish I had some more cafe. Really? No, I'm good. I can go I and say, Senor no, no, Felipe, no. your coffee. <laughs> well, ¿Qué es eso? Oh, ¿es mío? Oh. Ah, muy bien. Oh, yeah. Go. We have here information. Gracias. Yeah, here in this uh, card, you can see the uh, fishing calendar, fishing regulation, fishing tournaments, fishing trips, and the catch limits you can have here in, in Mexico. Yeah, but where do people get that card? With you. Oh, yeah. Now with you. What, where do I get them? Yeah, I will give you. These ones uh, are from Cepesca, which is the Mexican fishing regulations here. Uh, they create these. I mean, I think they are pretty good because you have everything here. You have a QR code here. And if you scan it, you can go to the web page and you can easily buy your license and know fishing tournaments, calendars, regulations, blah, blah. So I will give some 
Victor Philip. And if you have not had enough of Paulina tonight, we will be back tomorrow with Tackle Shop Confession. We're not ending the show, by the way. I'm just plugging tomorrow's show. And we are going surf fishing, surf on, fishing. Wednesday. on Wednesday. And we're going to yes. fish till the sun goes down. Yeah, and luckily it's going down late. Yeah, like seven, what, 8? Yeah, 7.30. Yeah. 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 Luckily. Yes. You want to fish late? No, I like the sun. I like, yeah, I'm like summer lover. Yeah, yeah. me too. I'm, I'm the same way. Um, so we're trying to get together some intel. Where were you fishing when you caught that? You had a calico bass. Yeah, calico bass. Where was that? Down, that was thing. right over here, right? Yeah, next to Hotel Coral and Marina. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever fished inside Hotel Coral? No. They have security guys that'll chase you away, but... <laughs> I mean, you can go and ask for permission and maybe you can, or... Well, my kids, they were fishing all night long out there having a ball. They got to know the security guy and, <laughs> you know, hey, how many carne asada burritos do you want? <laughs> so, the, and they caught all kinds of stuff. Halibut, yeah. spotted bay bass. Uh, sand bass. Yeah. Oh, I heard last week that they caught their uh, barracudas. Oh, really? Yeah. How's the barracuda fishing out here? There, there was some flurries about a month ago, and yeah, here, I heard of a couple caught here recently. Yeah, again. here as well. Last week they caught uh, some barracudas near Tolos Santos Island. Yeah. That, that's where they were last time. You want to give everybody a little fishing update before we go back to more questions? So, oh, sure. what about the yellowtail bite? It, it had gone down a little bit, but you say you had a friend today who caught. Yeah, yeah. You show me the photo. Yes. I well, mean, I would have accused you of making that story up no, if you didn't no, show I'm me not that. A liar. My nose is in the place it should be, not like Pinocchio. So yeah, as I was saying, the official report here in Ensenada is yellowtail. I mean, they were boiling <laughs> last week. I prefer mine deep fried, but boil, you know, that's okay. Yeah, but you are you and I am me. <laughs> yeah, yellowtail uh, were boiling here next to Todos Santos Island, between Punta Banda and Todos Santos Island. Also some barracudas and bonitas and bottom fish, a lot of sea bass, I mean calico bass, sand bass, uh, rock cod, lean cod, white fish. And yeah, that's a report for last week and yesterday. And also today they caught yellowtail in the morning, but they did uh, casting. No other way but casting. That's what they want. <laughs> yeah. They are picky friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe uh, the wind is supposed to, when we were driving down here today, mm -hmm. It was like blowing 20 knots. It wow. was windy. And I'm like, oh my God, are you seriously kidding me? I just spent five days <laughs> out there getting my teeth kicked in <laughs> in some weather. And now, but man, if this is like an omen right now, it's pretty calm. Yes, it is. Pretty nice, right? Yes. It is so beautiful here tonight, isn't it? Yes, I think the flag has reference to the, for yeah, the wind. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's, it's good. Exactly. It's good to see the flag back out. I didn't see yes. it the last few times no, I was down No, they here. take it down because of the rain and the wind, so avoid but, problems or ripping something. That, that is one big Mexican flag, I'll tell it you. Is. I've seen one bigger, though. You probably, in the Zocalo and yeah, let's Mexico see that in City, Mexico. Yes. Is that beautiful or what? Yeah, it is. So when I lived in Mexico City, I lived there about four months. I would go down there all the time just to see them lower the flag yeah. and fold it up. And, and all the, the Socolo. So, yeah, yeah it's oh, man. cool. And then you got the cathedral and you got the National Palace. And yeah, it's all, you beautiful. just can feel the history. I there. like, yeah, I like a lot of Mexico City. Yes. I have family there. I have a cousin which I visit like once a year. And then Chilangos, huh? Yes. But <laughs> I'm not. Do you have any cantonillas in your family? No. You know what a cantonilla is? Yeah, the ones from Mexicali, oh, right? Oh, thank God. Oh, I almost had you there. No. <laughs> All right, perfect. I'm trying to get you on something tonight since you mistreated me. Hmm. Do they have I'm elder, smart enough. Do they have elder <laughs> abuse laws here in Mexico? Can I turn you in for picking on me too much? I will kill you first, but yeah, they are. Yeah, really. <laughs> no wonder we haven't seen Greg. Now we know. <laughs> Maybe Greg will resurface and say hi. Who knows? We'll see. All right, let's go to... Um, Daniel Leanos, who says, I love this show. Good. We love you, Daniel, yeah, right? Thanks for watching us. Appreciate it very, very much. Um, let's see, we are going to uh, cool granddaddy sweets forever. <laughs> Phil and Paulina, great show. Paulina, you are memorizing and make me miss my family in Rosarito and Ensenada. Time to plan a family reunion. This is lovely. Thanks, Phil. You really working overtime, brother. This is, if this is work, sign me up. I love doing this. Yes. Especially, 
you know, her and Pauline and I joke around a lot. This is really a quality good person. Her mom, same thing. Her aunt. I feel really fortunate to have met you guys, and yeah, hopefully, me too. We'll be working until I finally move on to, you know, <laughs> what's that? Shut another up. year and a half or so, maybe. No, like some days. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, so he's like seeing you, and then he's thinking of his family in Mexico and thinking he hasn't seen him for a long time and thinking yeah, he needs to come I mean, down. That's great. Yeah, I mean, this is how Mexican people is, right? I mean, Khalid, warm, friendly, so that, that's why he needs to come and visit his family. And Mexican families, Mexicans put their family way, 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 way up here. Yes. O over material, yes, everything, money, everything. It's the family is everything. Yes. Yeah. I can see that, you know, with your mom and you, it's a beautiful thing. All right, enough of this. Let's go back to picking on one another. I like that better. Doug Tilt is joining us on the show. And Doug says, um, hi, Phil. Prettiest co-host for Friedman Adventures. You need to find a small boy to sit in the background. Good luck fishing. So you know what he's talking about? Michael Limon sits in the background of all, a lot of our shows. <laughs> yes, and he says, we can put a throne there. I think he would love it. He would be in heaven down here. Something tells me we haven't heard the end of Michael Limon. Michael, keep those questions coming in. Paulina will, is happy to answer any of your questions. All right, back to it again. And it's time for Michael Limon. And he says, Paulina, this is Michael again. Do you have live bait? And if so, how do you get the live bait in Ensenada? Yeah, there's a place, I mean, when you are going out, uh, there's a place who sells uh, live bait. And yeah, you can buy there whatever you want, like, you can buy like five, ten dollars, or you can ask for ounces or whatever you want, but yeah, they, they sell there. But sometimes they don't have bait, so you need to fish your own live bait. <laughs> All right, perfect. Keep them coming, Michael. Uh, folks, you are watching the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel live with Paulina here at Bote Juanitos in beautiful Ensenada. The sun is kind of getting kind of low. What's our sunset look like? Is it pretty sunset or not? Yeah, no. It's been better, to be honest. Pink, uh, orange, purple skies. Beautiful, right? Yes. Yeah, you got to love that. Hopefully we'll have one of those on Wednesday when we're surf fishing. Ooh, beautiful. Are we going to do a jackpot that day? Like whoever catches the biggest fish? Of course. What's the prize? What are we playing for? Let me plan it. Maybe we can make some... Maybe whoever loses has to cook for the other one or something like that. Or That's too easy for me. Me too. <laughs> I mean, I could do some gringo food or whatever. You, know, you, you guys have gringo food. I will think I about do, something interesting. I'll do my version of ceviche. How about that? Oh, good. The gringo ceviche. Okay. Perfect. All right, man. We have so many questions coming in. <laughs> Did you plan on going home early tonight? No, I guess no, you're not. you're not going anywhere. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, it's great to be with you. We'll be fishing Yellowtail tomorrow with Louis Prieto on board it's for real sport fishing and then we're going to come back here we're going to do tackle shop confessions with paulina her mom and everybody here and we're going to have a fiesta tomorrow night yes here. fiesta so i hope you bring something good is rockfish okay yeah <laughs> you don't seem too thrilled about that no, okay. have you ever eaten rockfish sashimi yeah, remember the last time? Oh, you did a lingcock. Yeah, lingcock, yes. That's right, yeah, it was good. It was good, to yeah, be I'm, honest, I'm yeah. good with that. Look at all these people having a great time here. Yeah. Little kids. With uniforms, they come from school, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Good stuff. All right, uh, let's see. Um, N6 Nguyen is worried that I'm giving Mexico ideas about making the license state by state. So we must have a huge audience out there. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, let's see. Carlos... Oh, Carlos Laguanas, is it? Or Lagunas? Lagunas. Uh, scrambled egg and guacamole. <laughs> Sweet combo, he says. Yes. You know Carlos? No, but... Nope, I don't. Okay. Yeah, those are killing right now. Spastic D says, Con el caballo le dimos a las baracas cerca de Todos Santos. Yep. El fui a Todos Santos. Con yeah, el yo with, Yeah, with Little Horace. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and they caught barracudas. Oh, they did. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, Barracudas. Cassandra Flores. Do you know who that is? Yes, a friend from school. Really? Yes. Oh, how nice. Cassandra. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Can you do me a favor? 
and tell Paulina not to pick on me. I don't want to break into tears on the show. Anyway, tell him that's the way I am. That's how our friendship begins. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, if you're not picking on somebody, you don't love them that much, oh, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's she says she's a huge fan. Love you, Paulina. Keep up the amazing work. Cassandra with a big corazón for you. Thank you, friend. That's beautiful. All right. A. A. Iniguez. I finally got my Spanish pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> Remember, he was the guy that was on here a second ago? And he says, Haha, I'm Paulina's best friend, Aranza. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's my friend. Oh, okay. We are super proud of the work you're doing. So yes. another friend of yours? Yeah, I went with her to Costa Rica. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay, La Tierra de Mi Esposa. Yes. Uh-huh. Did, uh, did I ask you if you tried Salsa Lisano? Nope. I didn't I ask didn't. you? No. Oh, you should have. That's so no. good. But I came in love with plantains. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. Really? My kids grew up on those. <laughs> Two little gringo kids, and they're eating plan well, platanos every yeah, day. Every day, yeah. yeah. With the rice, with beans, uh, gallo pinto, yeah. Yeah, the photo that I sent you, that is my yeah, everyday right. breakfast. Yeah, right. I saw that. Yeah. yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yes. My it wife is. still eats. You know what she eats them with, too? I don't know if they had that, but sour cream, natilla. No. Sour cream, you take the platano, and then you dip it in sour cream. That's pretty darn good. It really yeah. is. But yeah, my kids... They had this international thing going on because my brother married a girl from Taiwan. Okay. So we had the Chinese thing. And I remember Philip and Patrick went next door one day. <laughs> they came over back and they go, Dad, Aunt Ami gave us ice cream and it has beans in it. <laughs> and I go, you all try it, you two <laughs> dorks, you know? So they had all kinds of stuff floating around with them. Costa Rica, Mexico, everything. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. Paulina and I are having so much fun tonight. This is really, really great. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. We've got uh, N6 um, Nguyen, and he says, move the sign, move that sign behind Paulina to the space covering the ice chest. Here. Do we need to move that? Oh, look, our personal assistant oh, yeah. jumps right in. He's did Marcus. You, did you see the Viejo Rabo Verde do that? Wow, what's back there? Oh, oh, he wants to see that. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. All right, there you go. Your wish is our command. <laughs> or your command is... Uh, no, your no, wish your is our, is our yeah, command. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know the English. Yeah, you're uh, drinking uh, coffee, I guess. Uh, whiskey in this day? No. <laughs> si tiene, pero yo no quiero molestarte. All right, let's go back to this, Pauline. Are you having fun? Be yeah. honest. I'm here. Oh, you're lying. I'm not it's lying. It. Oh, gracias. Señor Felipe, your coffee's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. This is too much fun tonight, right? All right, let's go back to our questions. We appreciate it. Um, Kubal says, hi, Phil. You lucky dog. <laughs> I'm sitting, right? We've already got my wife's approval on all of this, right? We have permission. Someday you got to meet Rutita. She's crazy. She's great. Tell her to make gallo pinto. <laughs> oh, she will do that for you. She'll make you gallo pinto and platanos and yes. all of that. Do you know what else she makes that's really good? Uh, a beet. You know what beets are? Yeah, the, yeah. Remolde, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. the uh, purple she, ones. Yeah. yeah, she makes a salad that's very common in Costa Rica. And that's really good. My dad, he's passed away uh, by now, but she would make that for him all the time because he <laughs> loved that. Those two, talk about they were going steady. Well, when my dad... Those two would go to Denny's every morning together and two hours down there and she treated my dad so great. And, you know, so yeah. All right. Um, let's see. X Daniel Plup like Grony. I'm all screwed up if I screwed that all up. Carlos Sanchez, Arnie Sport Fishing in Ensenada. So he's an Arnie fan. Arnie's a great guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Have you ever fished with him? Yeah. Oh. I mean not fishing with him, no, but I know him from here, from his podcast. Uh, if you haven't seen, his podcast is Casteando La Baja, and he do really good work here in Ensenada about fishing people, fishing reports, and everything happening here in Ensenada. I still want to, I told you this, I'll say it on camera though, I want to help some of the local guys here mm -hmm. and promote the fishing down here. Yeah. I'm not talking about any pesos or anything else, I'm just talking about, you know, I mean, my job is to be honest with the public and tell them where the good fishing is and where they can go. And yeah, and the good people. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we need to focus one of those guys, and I'm sure you got other guys around here yeah. that are good. 
And uh, we need to do that. Yeah, we need sure. to start working on that. Hey, by the way, another brilliant idea I had was, oh, well, I'm going to keep that a secret. Never mind. <laughs> you know, but I'm not going to. Uh... All right, let's see. Alex Alcaraz, you're back in Mexico? Sweet. You deserve to get in some fish. Saludos a Paulina. Saludos. Alex, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to catch a fish tomorrow. Might be a rockfish, but that's okay. <laughs> Still a fish. <laughs> All right. Uh, Daniel or Michael Limon wants to know if you could send some yellowtail home for him. I guess yes. he wants me to catch him one. But if do you think I'm going to catch one or not? I, well, can go, have... I can go as well. So let's see who catches. But yeah, of course, I can send oh, you. Oh, throwing down a little bet here, huh? <laughs> Bring it on, <laughs> senorita, let's go. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, let's see. Um, all right, uh, IJ, buying me a yellowtail setup this weekend at the swap meet, and I'll be out next week for another fishing trip. All right, best of luck to you, right? You should come down here someday. Uh, Michael Limon is, oh no, we, that was Michael Limon. Robert Graber, Robert, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for being here, good evening. Phil and Paulina and the Friedman and Vachos family, happy Monday, have fun in Mexico, lindo, he says, so. Happy that is, Monday for you too. Thank you, Robert. Hit that like button also, my friends. Deeply appreciate it when you do that. If we don't get over 100 likes, uh, Paulina says she's going to jump in the water tonight, so, yeah, so please just jump. get it to 99 and stop. <laughs> hey, no, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> we promise to fish you out of there after, you know, before midnight. Sure. We'll let you swim around a little bit. Yeah. How's your swimming? Are you a good swimmer? No, to be honest, no. Really? Yes. Can you swim? I mean, I can survive, but I don't like to swim like okay. doing all the job. <laughs> all right, I got you. All right, then I won't put you in tonight. <laughs> N6 win. The tides for Wednesday. 5 a.m. high, load 1 p.m., then high at 7 p.m. Yes, that's why we're going to fish till sundown. Yes. He's right. So right when the sun is setting, we're going to have a high tide. We are going to murder the barred perch. I'm going to kill every last one of them. I'm going to lay my filthy hands on. No, Let's see. I wouldn't do that. Let's see. <laughs> I love that, oh, man. And we brought ghost shrimp. We brought all kinds of other bait to go with it. Yes. So we should be good. Um, Let's see, um, now Ayarte, now Ayarte. Hey Phil, I love Cabo. Check out Playa Grande Resort if you have a chance. Have a great time. Thank you so much for that recommendation. Maybe we can check that yeah, out someday. I, lo I like fishing in Cabo. I have a friend there who owns a sport fishing uh, place. So if you want to go, I highly recommend him. The company is Tac Cabo. His name is Arturo, and they are a very good team. So how do you spell that? Tac Cabo. T-A-G Cabo. Tag Cabo. Okay, yes. got you. Perfect. Um, you know, we're going to have to jump around a little bit and do this show in maybe San Quentin someday or something sure. like that, or Bay of L.A. or something like that. Are you into that? Yeah, I'm in. All right, perfect. If it's fishing, I'm in. Yep. I, I know you. I already know. <laughs> Um, now we can read the sign and make Juanito happy. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why our executive producer and uh, stagehand and the didn't figure that out. Part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's something that the Viejo Rabo Verde would have yeah, had. You all. need to update the job description. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now she's starting to pick on you, so she likes you. <laughs> yeah, she likes you. All right, boy, I'm telling you, we have so many comments still coming in. We're never going to get to the material we yeah. wanted to cover. Hey, I have my notes here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're having way too much fun with this. And at some point, we'll take you for a little walk here on the Malecon. We can't get too far away from the Wi-Fi. We'll, we'll at least let you see some of the families here and everything else. All right, here we go. Back to the fun and games here. And it's N6, or it's Alex Alcaraz, Alcaraz. And he says, how much is a full day? out of Botes Juanito. So we're talking about Foca. Mm -hmm. He wants a full day's fishing. Let's talk local, you know. Yeah, local. I mean, what do you mean with full day? Because, I mean, we rented by for, from 7 a.m. to 2, 3 p.m. Yeah, let's talk yeah? that okay, then, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, 7 to 3, let's yeah, say. Yeah, 7 to 3. Uh, it's local fishing, like near Todos Santos Island and Punta Banda and those places. I think it is between $300, $400. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I fell asleep for a second. Yeah. Oh. Where's your coffee? 
Yeah. Right here, your mom's yeah. taking your mom is taking good care of it. I was reading like another comment. That's what I was doing. All right, there you go. It's very affordable. I mean, super affordable. And this atmosphere is so great. When you get back in, it's I can't emphasize enough how festive and wonderful and families over here. It's really, really great. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, N6 win. Now we can call tuna red lure chili pepper rojo. There you are. I like that. Another good one. Ken Trenholm. Ken, it's good to see you, my friend. Hello, Freeman Adventures family. I wish I were down there with you, Phil. I really, really, really need to get my passport. Ken, let me break the news to you. While it is advisable to have your passport, you can come down here without your passport. And U.S. Customs are going to run me down tonight and <laughs> handcuff me, I'm sure. But um, U.S. Customs, in order to prohibit you from coming back into your home country, have to have beyond a reasonable idea that you, you're not an American citizen. So if you show up with a driver's license and a birth certificate, you're going to get read the riot act at times, sometimes not, but they'll tell you, hey, next, you know, come on, get a passport, dude. But you're in, don't worry about it. I've done it, I've, I, I have a passport, but I've been with people 250,000 times and they've never ever been denied. I had a kid came down here once, with his freaking library card. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the guy looks at it and goes, this is seriously, this is all you have? And goes, yeah, goes, okay. They, they're pretty smart. They, they can figure out who's who and everything else. So you don't have any more excuses, Ken. You better get down here. Uh, N6Win fills the reason why they have fish markets. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, come on. You took a shot at me. Maybe I have to go to... Well, I'll go to the fish market and bring yeah, fish tomorrow. Sure. Yes. He may be right. Um, all right, very good. Um, let's see. Rocket Dog says, hola, chicos. Hola. Good to see you, Rocket Dog. Norma Cardona Soto. Who on earth is that? I, I don't wonder. know. Do you know her? Sounds like your aunt, maybe. Sophia. Oh, yeah, she is. Sophia. <laughs> and uh, Norma says, Paulina, eh, la mejor pescadora. That's you, the best fishing woman. Yeah, she's saying that because I start uh, surf fishing and I'm the first one in the family who's doing this. And she's like telling me that you're the best fisher lady I know. <laughs> How do you like uh, surf fishing? Just You just started it. I love it. Yeah, I have like three weeks. I mean, not even a month that I start. And I'm liking it because, I mean, you don't need the boat to go far away. And you can spend your afternoon fishing on the rocks, on the shoreline. And yeah. I mean, you don't cut big fishes like offshore fishing, but I mean, if you like fishing and you're obsessed with fishing like me, <laughs> you can go there and, and spend your afternoon and play around there. Yeah, so, I mean, what you're pointing out and what is so correct about surf fishing is you have a rough day at work or you worked really hard, you don't have time to go get on a boat and go yeah, to and Todos Santos, away, yes. but you can go over there and catch breathe some fresh air and the sun, and, yes, maybe and catch a fish, yeah. right? And if not, I mean, you sit there, enjoy the sun, the weather. I mean, if even if it's a small, small fish, you do some catch and release, but you had fun. Actually, when I go surf fishing lately, I feel like I'm on vacation. I mean, yeah. I go out my office uh, and I go there a couple of hours and I feel free and I feel like, uh, good day. A hundred percent, yeah. So hopefully Wednesday we're going to have some fun. Yes. Well, we're going to have some fun, but hopefully we'll catch some fish, I mean, too. if we are together, fun is with us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, David wants to know, have you ever thought about putting daily fish counts on your Facebook page, or is there a different site that you can use? So he's like, how do I get the fish count? You listen to the morning briefing with Phil Friedman. That's one way, right? Well, yeah. And we're going to have more of Paulina, but have you ever thought about doing that? No, I'm not, to be honest, but I can. I mean, I I hear the reports of everyone here in Ensenada every day, so I can make a count, like, hey, today, Monday, they catch five yeah. yellowtails, one barracuda, ten rockets, and yeah. That sounds good. I like that. Um, Carlos Lagunas, negative first time on a live. I'm from Cali. All right, very good, Carlos. Uh, David this. Alcantar. Howdy, party people! Party and hearty, water party. and coffee. Water and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, put the wood to those surf perch, he says. That's right. We're going to cream those things. Yes. 
You know, right out in front of where I live, we have some really good fishing in the surf. When that gets going, I'll let you know. Yeah. That's that's really fun. Yeah, I saw that you make like surf fishing kind of parties in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you saw that. Yeah. yeah. I would You'd like be, to go. That'd be fun if you showed yes. up for one of those. Uh, Ken Trenholm says, you are a wealth of information. See, I've talked him into coming down here without his passport now. Watch when he's in uh, jail in uh, San Isidro. Be careful. Like, yeah, now I what mean, do I do, Phil? <laughs> uh, Rocket Dog says, damn, just font through the sediment lane. They don't like that. Do it. Sorry, uh, I was listening to I don't the know music. Either. <laughs> Um, I think maybe Rocket Dog was uh, maybe voicing that, and I'm, I'm not sure I understand that. Maybe you want to help me out there. Bowline Outdoors. Hello, Phil and Paulina. Hello. Uh, El Cid. Uh, Phil, soy Fetterman. Fetterman is un, un amigo mío muy yep. bueno. Okay. Saludos a los dos. Me encanta la colaboración que se le, la pasan bien. Okay, let's Good. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Hi. He's a great guy. Yep. Gracias, hermano. Muchas, muchas gracias. All right. Uh, oh, I thought we were going to get a little bit of a break here. Well, what else do we have on on your paper? There anything else? Uh, Are we getting ready to wrap this up? I hope not. No. What I will mean, I do without I, I you I want tonight? to share with you my experience surfishing. Yeah, but, go ahead. Uh, yeah, and that's it on my notes because I've already talked with you about fishing report here. Uh, about the people who can go fishing with Foca and Pangas and yeah. So question, I'm going to question you. You said I'm good at questions, right? When, did you consider the tides when you went folk, when you went folk, when you went <laughs> surf fishing? Yes. You did? Yes. So you're trying to fish in the high yes. tide yeah. area? In the early morning or in the afternoon. And what did you fish with? What kind of bait or what kind of lures? Oh, I used plastics and casting lures, some jigs and spoons. Okay, what'd you catch that calico bass on? Calico bass, the, the calico, yeah, with uh, plastic. Plastic, the calico bass. Yeah, both with plastic. No, 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 one with a jig, with a mustard jig, the one gummy something. Yeah, a red and, and gray uh, casting lure. Okay. Yeah. And have you ever fished with, do you know what a Lucky Craft is? No. Okay, it's like, you know what a Rapala looks like? Yep. You know what that is. Yeah. It's kind of like that. It looks like that. Okay. They're really good for halibut. Okay. But big bar perch will bite that also. Okay, good. So, no, yeah. I am only using uh, plastics, jigs, spoon, and yeah, that's it. And the casting lures. Yeah, perfect. Uh, all right, let's see. We've got Robert Graber. Phil, you're going to get Paulina on one of your upcoming charters up here with Bella, your merch model. You know, I wish I could show you that photo right now. Have you ever? <laughs> uh, Robert's absolutely right. So we got in from a trip that we went and filmed up in Ventura. Yep. And there on the docks is this beautiful little girl, mm -hmm. 10 years old. Mm -hmm. She caught a giant white sea bass about a year ago. And we, you know, she became a star on Freedman Adventures. Yes. And she was there and she's so cute. And so... I gave her a hat mm -hmm. and took a photo, and then I go, oh, my God, that's our photo, our model. Yeah, She's perfect. She is. Hey, my first fish that I caught when I was little, it was a white sea bass. There so you are. That's a good way to start. So <laughs> she mentioned you. She? Why? Because she'd seen you and seen me talk, and I said, you know, and this is what Robert's hitting on, mm -hmm. I said, we should get Paulina to come and fish with you. Yes. So sh May 31st, check your schedule on that. Sure. If you can get to, uh, like, Huntington Beach, then we'll drive the rest away. Okay, Because it's a little bit farther north. Okay. But we'll figure that out if we could yeah, do sure, that. Yeah, sure, I would love to. That would be awesome. And I would love to, to meet her. Yeah. Um, all right, and uh, Robert, I think that's a fantastic idea. N6UN. When you pass from Mexico to the United States, is the burden on you to prove who you are and the easiest way is with a passport or else you'll spend one to two hours in secondary inspection? That is absolutely true. You should absolutely 100% get a passport. It facilitates everything. I highly recommend you get the little card also with it because I have that in my wallet all the time. But when I get like in San Diego, my car, I don't know what it is, it just starts like turning south and heading to the border. I can't fight it off sometimes. That's I got my little Mexican passport. Mexican magic. Man, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I got that little passport card. So you're 100% right. I'm just saying, if you really wanted to come down here, 
that's the way to do it. I have never gone to secondary with one of those guys that had a library card or any of that, but they can certainly do that to you. They can send you over there and say, hey, we're not sure who you are, and blah, 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 blah. And I don't know if they make some notation in the computer or not. My sense is they probably do. So, you know, if they tell you to get a password 32,000 times and you keep ignoring them, they're probably going to say, <laughs> yes. go to secondary and sit there for <laughs> six hours. So, uh, there you go. All right, um, Paulina will start 976 Atun. David Alcantar says that. I'm going to have to explain that to you. So, in 1985, mm -hmm. they used to have these phone numbers, mm -hmm. 976. Okay. Do you know these? No. Or no? Or 900. Most of them were naughty. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you call and listen to some yeah. nonsense. I started one called 976 Tuna. Mm -hmm. And it was at a time when there was no internet. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. So to get the fishing information, you had to wait till the next morning, mm -hmm. open the Los Angeles Times, and then read. Well, I, I cut that off. I started giving all that information 12 hours in advance. Yeah. And so I was teaching in school. Uh -huh. I was a school teacher. And, you know, I got three phone calls, so I made, you know, yeah. 75 cents. <laughs> then I got six phone calls. Whoa, I made like $2. Yeah. You know? And then some guy at the LA Times, his name was Earl Grutsky, listened to it and he wrote on the Los Angeles Times, mm -hmm. this is the best report I've ever heard. <laughs> wow, that's 3, cool. 3,000 phone calls the wow. next day. <laughs> and it just Amazing. kept growing and growing and growing and growing. So David's been with yeah. me for a long time and he's saying, you're going to start 976 yes, really at Tuna. Yeah, but now WhatsApp. <laughs> I know, exactly, exactly. David, that's cool stuff, man. That is really, really awesome. Um, let's see. Um, we're kind of caught up here. I mean, I hate to say goodbye to everybody, but maybe it's time. Maybe, wow. should we walk out on the... Half an hour and 30 north. minutes here. That's, that's nothing to me. Ask him. Okay. I can do these all day long. She said we've done an hour and 13 minutes. Yeah, let's take a tour. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's walk out here. And sure. We can see the flag. You Every can show day. your mom again. Yeah. Here's my mom watching we'll the We'll come show back to the live. questions in a second. <laughs> my aunt there. <laughs> yeah, so here. We can open the door. After you. Yeah. And here you can see what we were looking at when we were sitting there. Oh, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? Yep. Weather is good. What? People having fun there. You can see little kids. Families. Yeah, kids playing around, making some bubbles there. <laughs> yeah, over this way you can see. Can we walk over? We can yeah, have sure. Wi-Fi in there? Yeah, until the lamp, I guess. Yeah, this is great, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, family's here, the flag that we were talking about. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, here is the marina, Botas Juanitos, where we are recording and where we have the boats that we were mentioning before. It's a little bit frio out here. Yeah, it that? is. It's chilly. Hey, what's that? I almost ate <laughs> your finger. So yeah, beautiful here. Beautiful here, yes. So yeah, you should come. Trust, you definitely should. Trust Philip when he say it's safe to be here. Well, I trust you too, and you're absolutely right. Yes, I think so, but yes. <laughs> Let's go back and see if we have any more questions, and then we'll say goodbye. No more questions? No. We can say goodbye right yeah, here. So hey, it's a wrap then. Exito. Yeah, see you, you again. Good job. <laughs> see you tomorrow yeah. and on Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow night, right? Yes. For tomorrow night, night for fishing party. Hey. Yep. And then yes. surf fishing. All Thanks, the everybody. Website. Thank you. From Good night. Ensenada, Baja California, Norte, and Botes Juanitos for Paulina. And I'm Phil Friedman. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, see Paulina. You. Good to see you.